Hi, welcome to Yovi's Home. I make new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Today we're going to talk about how you can find a job in the Netherlands if you don't speak Dutch. So if that sounds good to you, then why don't you come on in, kick off your shoes and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. Hi guys, so maybe now you're new in Holland and you are looking for a new job. Let me preface this by saying I'm not a recruiter. I don't have like super experience with this from an employer's side, but I have had three jobs in the last 10 years living here so I can speak from my experience and also the experiences of my friends. This video is like I'm supposing in this video that you are legally in the country and that you are legally entitled to work so you have some kind of working permit. If that's not the case then this video is probably not for you but if you are here for you know maybe with your partner who is working in a company maybe they were relocated and you want to do something and you're looking for a job for yourself then let's talk about how you can maybe find a job. So the first way that I would suggest that you look for a job, um, if you're looking for like a professional level job, is to go to some recruitment agencies. There are definitely some agencies in Holland that specialize in non-Dutch speakers. Um, I will link some of them below. So recruitment agencies can help you. One thing that was more helpful for me uh, that I noticed is I actually went to an agency. Like I found a physical location, I knocked on the door and I introduced myself. That got their attention much more than me just sending CVs because when you're sending your CV or your resume, you are just a piece of paper. But when you show up at the door and you are, you know, there in person, it makes it much more likely that they will think, oh, maybe this is somebody who we can get a job for and they will be more likely to help you. Yeah, so then with the recruitment agency, you know, as your partner, um, they can either suggest jobs that might kind of be in your field or field adjacent because of course, if you are not qualified to do the same work here as you were in your home country, then it might be difficult to um, find a job like that. But yeah, the recruiters will know whether if it's in your field or field adjacent, they can help you find something that would be interesting for you. The second way that I would suggest to go about looking for a job that is English speaking, or again, not Dutch speaking, is to look on LinkedIn. I've had a lot of success with looking for either jobs or getting called for interviews through LinkedIn. Make sure that your profile is up to date, make sure that it's in English, um, or whatever language is your target. And yeah, toggle those preferences to on that you're looking and then maybe the recruiters will actually end up finding you. One thing that I find that's been helpful is in my profile, I did, I did say, for example, I don't speak Dutch, but I'm willing to learn. So if the employer really liked what you're offering, there have been cases where they will either pay for you to have language lessons or you know they will they will maybe make an exception if they were looking for a Dutch speaker but you don't speak it yet that they might help you um, get your levels up there. So in your LinkedIn profile or even in your CV, just make note that you are willing to learn the language if you are. If you're not, don't lie. So yeah, that's another tip. Number three is Facebook groups. Uh, I've noticed in the Netherlands that we have a plethora of very active Facebook groups. Um, for expats, you know, you have all kinds, like whether they're expats in the Netherlands or specifically like expats in The Hague, there are lots and lots of groups. Find some Facebook groups that are kind of what suits you, what is really appropriate for you, and then go ahead and like join these groups. You can see sometimes that you know, other moms who are in these groups or other expats who are in these groups will say, hey, my company has a vacancy and this and this, here's the announcement. You don't need to speak Dutch. So people in the groups will actually advertise non-Dutch jobs within the group for the expats um, so that you can find those jobs like that. So it's not all the time, it's not super, super common, but I've come across it enough that it's worth mentioning um, to you. If you are interested in something like that, then join for sure. These groups are very helpful. And then the last um, tip that I would say, and this is if you're not so so interested in looking for a professional job, but if it's waitressing or working in a, in a shop, um, just go door to door. Just show up, just like you would in your country, you know, wherever you're from. 
um, and just kind of try to sell yourself, you know, speak to the manager if you can, um, ask them if they, you know, need some help, maybe that you're willing to do something. I do know, you know, in some of like, um, I have a friend that worked in a Zara or a Mango and she didn't speak Dutch, so they didn't put her out on the floor with the clients, but they did have her working in the back and she was, you know, folding clothes and making things like nice. Um, while she was learning Dutch. So that was an excellent opportunity for her to start somewhere, have some kind of income, have that exposure and work experience, not having a gap in her CV. Um, maybe it wasn't her ideal job, but it was a job and you know it got her to the next step, the next step, the next step in her career. And now she is, she is in a very high position <laughs> um, traveling the world. So, you know, don't think necessarily that by accepting a, like an entry level or a low level job, that that's it forever, because it's not. Um, if you're just looking for something, sometimes if you don't speak the, the local language, you've just got to start somewhere. And if you're a student, definitely in the Hague, where, like in the Hague area where I live, we have a beach. Those beach bars are constantly looking for help, um, servers, you know, entertainment, and those are pretty flexible jobs that you can, you can find. I also wanted to mention a couple more things, and that is that you shouldn't limit yourself in terms of geography for where you're going to be working. The Netherlands is a teeny tiny country, so just because you live in Amsterdam doesn't mean that you can only look for jobs in Amsterdam or Rotterdam or whatever it is. Um, a lot of people here, they commute. So I commuted from The Hague to Amsterdam for a long time, and then from The Hague to Rotterdam for a long time. Trains, public transportation, this is completely common, completely normal. You see tons and tons of professional people who are um, commuting between the cities. Certainly the bigger cities are gonna have more opportunities for English speakers, and then the smaller cities will have less, but nevertheless, don't only limit your geographical search to the place where you live. And then I also wanted to mention, if you're coming here with a degree, so whether it's like nursing or teaching or whatever, there is an entity called Duo. I will link it also below. And this is like a Dutch governmental organization that will kind of have a look at your diploma from your country and see if they would certify it to be the equivalent of a Dutch diploma in the same field. For example, if they certify your teaching diploma, then you would be able to actually look for teaching jobs in Holland. Um, you can have this entity examine it and then they would say yes or no, or they might say, well, you know, for our nursing program, for, for your nursing degree to be um, accepted, then you would need to still take these three classes, you know, and then you would know that you could take those classes and then look for a job in your field um, because your diploma would be recognized. And then of course there are some diplomas that they won't recognize at all, or you know, there are some things where you, where you might need to do a lot in order to be able to work in your field. And in that case, you might look for something field adjacent. So in my case, I have a law degree from, the United, from a university in the United States. Um, but I've never actually worked as a lawyer in Holland, partly because of my choice and partly because of, you know, it's very difficult um, when you have a US law degree to, to work with Dutch law. But I could find jobs, for example, in compliance. So that's kind of like law adjacent. That's what I mean by not fully in your field, but sort of in your field. And personally for me, I, I loved compliance. I loved working there, um, but yeah, so, there are options, but you just have to be flexible in your mindset and you have to be able to be a little bit creative in how you're going to go about your job search. So definitely tons of opportunities here. You can get them, but you really have to think, you, you have to forget about how you look for a job in your own country, in your home country, and just try all kinds of different avenues. So one additional tip that has now um, popped into my mind is sometimes when you're looking for job um, vacancies, whether you're on a Dutch website or um, an English speaking one, you can know kind of what your chances are of getting a specific job, whether the vacancy announcement is in English or in Dutch. So if it's fully in Dutch and then they say like, oh, we might want you to speak English, then I don't know, it would be difficult. But if the vacancy announcement is in English, then they're also looking for English speak, like really, really high level English speakers. Um, 
And so then that might be a sign or a signal to you that this company is looking for people like me. And then you can present yourself um, well, your CV and apply to a job like that. So like your chances are higher of finding a job if you are applying for jobs where the vacancies are fully listed in English as opposed to in Dutch. All right, so those were kind of like the four avenues where you could look for a job. I just wanted to mention again, how important it is to speak the language here if you're able to, like if, if you have an opportunity to come here and go to the language um, classes, if your kids are maybe older than mine, I'm pretty tied to my home, so I can't go to um, the language lessons yet, but I am definitely planning on doing those as soon as my youngest starts school and I have a little bit of freedom. So learn the language when and if you can, but don't be discouraged if you don't speak Dutch and don't think that you won't find a job because I have absolutely had professional um, jobs that I've loved um, working in English. There are a lot of American companies and British companies, you know, English speaking companies, and even Dutch companies where they do look for native speakers. Don't be discouraged. It might take you some time. That's a fact. It might take a little bit longer than you're used to, and you might have to start a little bit lower than you're used to, but once you're in, of course you grow, and that's kind of, you know, how it's done here. Attitude is important be humble, be kind. Another thing is if you're a mom and you're gonna be looking to work part-time, that is something that is absolutely common in the Netherlands. So don't be shy about saying, I'm looking for a job three days a week or four days a week. I don't wanna work full-time. That's okay. In the Netherlands, you are able to be a professional person and work part-time. So don't think that you can't say that. You should say that and you should be clear about that up front. Um, that is respectable and respected here in the Netherlands. And yeah, just give it a give it a go. I encourage you to try. Again, I'll link some recruitment agencies down below. LinkedIn, LinkedIn, LinkedIn. It's growing, it's getting more and more popular. And that's it, you guys. So thanks so much for coming. I hope this video was helpful. I know it was a quick one. This is kind of what it is. Um, you gotta just try. So thank you so much for coming over. I hope you have a great day. Uh, I really appreciate the time that you spent coming over today and spending time with me. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, and if there is if you have any other suggestions for other videos that you want me to cover, please leave them below. Thank you to Diana for asking for this video. I appreciate your suggestion and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.